And so this is one of the stories I, I grew up with. Cause my, my parents were always telling me about my grandparents and, and their stories. And my grandfather, back in the Depression, he was, he was a kid, just like 13, 14, 15 years old, and he was an orphan. So uh, naturally that, was, that led to a lot of unfortunate stories, lots of hard times. He was a foster kid, bouncing around a lot. He would be picked up by farmers because farm work, you don't necessarily have to pay family members who work there. So people would pick him up as a foster kid to work on their farms for free, and he'd eventually run away or, or just be sent back to the orphanage. But there was one story they told me. When he, was, when he was 14 years old, he managed to find himself a job at a restaurant, being a chef's assistant. And he's in the, in the back. He's cooking up this uh, giant pot of pork chops. And, and it's, it's a rough time. You know, it's, obviously, it's a rough time. It's the Depression. <laughs> Yeah, the roughest of times, the, the measure of bad times. So he's, he's boiling these pot, pork chops, and it's, it's a high-end restaurant. There's all these rich people out front who are going to be eating it. And it's food that he can't afford, that he's never going to be able to eat. And he's just standing over this pot, and there's this window in front of him. And the restaurant's built on the edge of this giant field. And in the distance, he can see the train tracks, and he hears a railroad train. He hears the train horn go off, the train whistle. And he's just thinking about a situation. He's looking at this pot of food that he'll never get to eat. And he's just like, screw this. And he just, he just walks away. Well, he doesn't really walk away. He decides he's going to actually go hop that train. Because he'd already been a hobo up to this point. So he's like, well, I'll just get on another train. That's not a big deal. And he didn't so much as walk as run out the back door with the pot of pork chops. <laughs> so he's running. The chef is running behind him, and the head waiter is running behind him, and he's running, trying to catch up with this train. And the hobos see him from a distance, and they see him carrying the food, and they're like, yes. And they're like, come on, come on, come on. And he's running along the side of the train, he's like, oh. and he's got the, the waiter chasing after him, he's got the, the chef chasing after him, and the hobos are like, pass up the food, and then we'll pull you up after. And so he goes, no. <laughs> no, I've been on Rock Candy Mountain before. You have to take me up, too. And so he's running, the hobo's like, just pass the food up, pass the food up. And the waiter's behind him, is like trying to grab hold of him. And he's like, no, I'm not going to let, no, you have to take it. And finally, like, they reach out, and they almost get him. Because the hobo's pulled him onto the train. And so the waiter and the chef just had to watch the train go off in the distance and go back and tell all the people, all the rich people during the Depression, like, yeah, you're going to have to go hungry tonight because the hobos are eating well instead. 